Everybody ready to say goodbye to our solar system? To our galaxy. Here we go. We're here. We want to get down fast, don't we? Actually, we want to get there in one piece. Hang on. And congratulations on the movie. I absolutely loved it, I have to say. I assume this was uh, the phone rings, Chris is on the line and says, do you want the part? Yes. Or did you, or, or do you go, send me the script, Chris. I have to think no. about this. No, no, no. And thank you for what you, your kind words. Uh, no, this was, reading the script was a formality for me. I, I, I said yes on the phone. He said, no, you really, please come in and read it. <laughs> and then I read it and I, and I found, uh, you know, and I went back into his office and said, okay, I'm saying yes. He goes, go home, sleep on it. <laughs> What is it about him? Because every other social studies works with him in the past says, I just say yes straight away. He's just amazing to work with. But what yeah. is it? Well, it's, it's a lot of things, really. I mean, take your pick. It's He's as talented a filmmaker as I think has ever been. He has worked out how to make a movie in the most efficient way and fun way possible. Um, so it's it's all, you, can, you, you don't really have a life life because you never really do when you work. But uh, it's nice to be able to know what you're getting. We turn, we, we're on set rehearsing at 7 a.m. every day. We're tur we've turned over 7.15 at the latest, and by 7 p.m. that night we've wrapped. And I mean, that's, that's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. It's very unusual for a film set. And um, he's, you would expect someone working at the level that he is working at to be a perfectionist, but, and, and he does have high expectations, but he's a human being, he's a kind man. And um, I don't know, I just can't say enough nice things about him. <laughs> Another I'm, person I'm every... gushing. Yeah. <laughs> Our mission does not work if the people on Earth are dead by the time we pull it off. Well, we got this far, farther than any human in history. Oh, not far enough. Make it count. Everybody's gushing about Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. Most of your scenes are with. So you have this kind of, I don't know, a love-hate kind of relationship going on in the, in the movie. But I wonder, I assume you get on really well in real life. And what is he like to work with? Because there's intense scenes in this between the, you two, too. Yeah. Math Matthew's so wonderful to work with. He's really easy. He he's lives in his own process, but is respectful for other people's process. In the beginning, and, and we both sort of, like our characters, did not feel like we needed to rush getting to know each other. Um, it's not that we kept our distance, but we just kind of let it happen organically. We were we were pretty close by the end of the movie, and we've continued to stay in touch since it's been gone. He's, I, I, I admire him as much as anyone I've ever worked with, and I really, um, I started to like lean on him as a friend. It was oh, pretty yeah. cool. But, Really, he's he's so. If he's been getting nonstop praise today, he's absolutely deserving <laughs> of it. He's just wonderful. Make it count. Where's the mountains? Those aren't mountains. They're waves. I'm not gonna make it. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I noticed in the water scene, which I believe you filmed in Iceland, that Matthew stays in the ship he and you get the in ship. the water. Yes, he does. What and yes, I do. And where, was Thank that you not for a, noticing that. Yeah, no one's brought I that up yet. I felt Anne. Thank you. Was it cold? Colder than, he, than him, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I it was fine. Everyone, that was a difficult location. That was, um, that one was challenging because there was nowhere to sit. Like the only place to sit was to crouch down in the water and that just didn't make any sense. So the crew was, you're standing up in thigh high water all day long, nowhere to go for hours and hours and hours. It was not an easy set, but it's a really cool scene. Yes, it is. But should I believe the internet and was hypothermia involved or is this a Never rumor? believe the internet. Okay. Never believe, what happened was my dry suit didn't work. It was left open by an inch, unfortunately. And um, I was left exposed in the water. And I asked a question. I said, what are the symptoms of hypothermia? Not because I had it, but just because <laughs> I just wanted to know if I started to feel certain things, would I have it? Okay. The internet translated that too. She almost had to have be <laughs> amputated from the neck, you know, anyway. Obviously, there's so much about space and logistics of space and quantum physics and all sorts. Are you interested in that subject? And did you do a bit of research on it? And do you think women will be, uh, girls watch movies like this? It's great to see a female astronaut in a movie. Yeah, do you know it what I mean? is. Yeah. I think that, um, this movie has, uh, without going into why, they have two really strong uh, female uh, heroes at the center of it. So that was, you know, it's pretty exciting to see that. And I do think, um, not just little girls, but, but 
women and men and little boys of all ages. It's it's a pleasure um, to see women occupy such important roles in the movie um, as they do. And physics, all that, yes, I'm a total geek. I was interested in this before the film. This is just deep in my interest. Congratulations, Interstellar, brilliant movie, Anne. A Thank pleasure. you. Thank you. Maybe we've spent too long trying to figure all this out with theory. Love is the one thing that transcends time and space. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. All right, you make it. Yes, you are. We'll find a way. We always have. <laughs>